with none other than Sid Straw and Don Piper. Good to see you all. Love them that to get me going. This is a big it, deal. It, it was the way I pointed this at you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a big deal. It's rude I to should... point. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sorry. I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> in this Sid. perfect airstream that my dear friend's incredible architectural gem of a home. Sid, a I would... Hub of creativity. <laughs> I cannot go on. I would love to hear one of your awesome songs. Oh, all right. Right now. Oh, fine. Sid Straw on WFHB. This is against my will, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't tap the mic. Sorry. Sam with your I'm boot. so sorry. <laughs> I got excited and so did my boot.
Beautiful. Fun. Very sweet. We're on location in Indianapolis today with Sid Straw and Don Piper. Y'all are here for a house concert. I'll say. And I think it's going to be house concert deluxe. <laughs> We're really looking forward to that tonight. You still but have to buy a ticket, Jim, even I know, though you're here. I brought my money. Doing all this. Still, it's like $900. <laughs> I got some gas. We still I have some availability. I forgot that before you got in your car in Bloomington <laughs> and brought all your gear. It's $900 ahead tonight okay. because you get to spend the night actually in this trailer with Don Piper. <laughs> and in a very chaste way. A really respectful way. He's a happily married man, and uh, if you give me two thousand dollars, you can snuggle up to my manager, Miss Carol Burnett, who's lonely and fun to sleep with. That's that, and we need the money to get home. That sounds like the VIP ticket, right? Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It's the oldest profession in the world. Well, you do need to get home because y'all have been... Managing, you, you, I mean. You she's have, our manager. You've been burning up the road, right, Sid? I mean, I last saw you five years ago, and it seems like in the five years since, you've just, you know, you're always playing here or there. You've had a Golden Palominos reunion. You've done some other special shows. The fire is still burning inside Sid Straw. How do you do it? You know what's funny? I've tried to stay out of everyone's way. I really have. You know, I hide out for years at a time, happily in the woods, conferring with the flowers. And uh, oh, look, it's my manager, Carol Burnett, coming to check out, make sure everything's cool. Come on, come on up. <clears throat> yep. She likes to be on stage at every performance, which is a little unusual for a manager, I think, to insist. I'm but, being on stage, but you know what? I'm terrified of her, and I just I I cave to every demand. She's she really micromanages that much. You know what? She manages me under a little a dogged little microscope. She takes sections of my soul, puts them on a slide, and examines me so closely that I'm embarrassed to be seen. <laughs> Uh, does she know what your next song is here today? Of course she does. She told me what I'm singing next. Okay. <laughs> well, what might that be? <laughs> Carol, do you want to call it? And then we can call it a, um, a request. Telepathy. I have to live with this. I sleep with this. <laughs> Please, Mother, may I sleep with danger? <laughs> you know what's funny? I sang a song in a Lifetime, you know, Lifetime, the Victims Network. I sang a song in a movie called Mother, May I Sleep with Danger. Isn't that awesome? I want to, I have to remember to put that on my very um, sparse resume. There's a lot of space on the page, you know. <clears throat> Here's a song. Stop interrupting me, Don. <laughs> <laughs> this is Don.
John Piper. He's my awesome, esteemed companion on the road and Funny. the one that makes it all happen and keeps me from dragging every attractive boulder covered in mud into our touring van and just keeps us headed in the right direction on the right road. Uh, and he, he keeps this sh midlife ship of love from sinking. He does a lot of bailing. Um, and I just keep the pipe full and look out the window mostly. <laughs> oh wait, we did that one. We did that one. I wanted to take an encore on that one. It was fun to play. <laughs> My favorite thing are encores that no one asks for. <laughs> just, hey, here's one. Don, what were we going to play next? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> I was a waitress, and you know what? I never dropped anything, and yet I thought I was maybe one of the worst waitresses on earth because I just didn't have a lot of faith, you know? But now it's years later, and I've been served by all kinds of people, and I now know, I can proudly say, that I was the next to the last worst waitress on earth. Second tries harder to be the worst, in my case. <laughs> Carol, stop looking at me like that. She's very intimidating. If you were here, you'd understand. I can barely play with under pressure like this. You know what's great, though, about my manager, Carol, who happens to pretty much be a dog, but she's not <laughs> sure. She hasn't declared herself yet. Uh, she has no idea that I pay her in Monopoly money. Isn't that awesome? She doesn't know. <laughs> she feels superior because she keeps 95% of our limited profits after expenses, which include a lot of grain-free kibble. Monopoly money, she feels superior. I just, that helps me through these difficult days and nights.
Million miles away, Sid Straw along with Don Piper here on WFHB's firehouse session in a Airstream trailer up in Indianapolis. Uh, Thank you, Faith. Thank you, Casey. It's re it's really great to be here catching up today, Sid. Uh, you probably Jim, know I'm you a know big... that I've desired you for years. Let's just not beat around this bush, okay? Uh, this is Oversharing Saturday here in the Airstream, and, and we'll this is a quick little part. session of Truth or Dare. I'm just going to say that I've always thought you were just a fox, and I think it's <laughs> awesome that you came here to record Don Piper and I and my fierce overprotective manager, Carol Burnett, here at the Airstream of Faith. <laughs> I mean, that's serious. Casey and Faith made this happen by inviting me to their imaginary house concert series three and a half years ago in Chicago at City Winery. And now it's three and a half years later and you lured Jim Mannion here and Don Piper <laughs> and me and um, Lloyd Sachs and all kinds of people. Well, how could we not be here? Well, you know what? I don't know because you are. <laughs> uh, Sid, I mean, obviously, I say you look better than ever. Well, uh, I don't have my glasses on, <clears throat> but still, sixty is the new sixteen. <laughs> um, oh, I like that. I have something to look forward to in the not too distant future. I've been a big fan of your your music for a long time, and so far, it's been kind of an album a decade. Um, is there? A new album in the works for the new decade? Is there some reason that you want to point out to our listening crowd my uh, total lazy lack of... No, content? I'm trying to promote your discography and uh -huh. where they You're might... You're not doing that nice a job of it, Jim. That was <laughs> really beyond the pill. I may have to just <laughs> slam this screen door on this airstream and just see what that sounds like through your fancy microphones, you motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, can we start over? <laughs> we can just play the last song. <laughs> Things hit it south. Suddenly, Quick, we thought the airstream was stationary. We don't know what happened. Was it that espresso? Good thing we're not on a live feed. Was it that espresso? Oh. We can get that in post. All right, you're gonna have to right. compose yourself again, ma'am. You know <clears throat> what? Carol's gonna get shitty. Carol. You know what? She will so take that cussing, she will take that out of me later tonight when we're sleeping or trying to sleep because I'm, you know, she's going to be going over details and she takes notes on every show. She takes notes on like when I have a shower, which by the way, today at the awesome home where we are recording from, I have the best shower of my life. Don, can you please speak up? The People will shower. think I'm not letting you talk that, or something. That. What? And <laughs> like that you're muzzled or something. What? How was your shower? I was, I was having a. Really okay, I know it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Good thing Shut we're up. not. We're not. <laughs> good thing we're not streaming live today. But we're not. <laughs> we can record one more song. If you can take a deep don't breath. Don't edit anything. If you care for me, don't change your hair for me. This is fair. This is where we're... This is, you know... And I sang on that show. We backed up Sun Ra Orchestra. I sang with Al Green on that show. That's right. Hello, people. Do you like me now? Space is the place. Because if you don't place. like me now, you never will. And I don't blame you, but come on. Try. Meet me halfway. Like me a little. Okay. Oh, fuck we, off. We love you, Sid. <laughs> Thanks for being here, as always. It's been a great session in the trailer Super today fun. with Sid Straw, <laughs> Don Piper. Super fun. Thanks to our hosts in Indianapolis. And you... I love you more than ever, Jim You Mannion. will be on the radio soon. It's a problem. <laughs>